If you're a cool dog parent and you've given your pup a kitty pool to play with this summer, you're probably looking for some fun dog toys that will float on water that can help add to the enrichment of playing with that kitty pool. I have done videos on how to turn your yard into a water park for your dog and how to leverage a kitty pool with a whole bunch of different ideas that you can find in the home or you can go out and buy to use inside of your kitty pool to help level up the enrichment. But I found some floating dog toys today at Aldi's that you do not want to miss. Now these sell out quickly. They only get a couple per store in the different kinds. So I would run as quickly as possible to grab these. And this is my favorite. This is a little watermelon. It is nice and thick. So this is not gonna be for a tiny little dog, but this is gonna be great for medium and large sized dogs. This is really sturdy and it is designed to float on water. So all of these are dog toys and you're gonna be able to just toss them in your pool and let your puppy play with them. They can take them and toss them around. You can kind of use them as something to throw for your dog. So if you're playing with your pup, dunk it in the water and then toss it at your dog to keep it nice and cool while you're playing. But I love these colors. I love the design. It is all um, kind of like stitched embroidered right on. So this really isn't going to, there's like nothing to pop off. So this is definitely a bit safer than if they were buttons or something like that. And this is just a really fun, nice size one. I feel like this is probably going to be one of the favorites for my pups, but they also have different kinds. Um, this one, is so freaking cute. It is a little starfish. So it's got the different size. This is gonna be great for a dog with a slightly smaller mouth. This might not be the one that I grab for a big dog unless your dog's really gentle, but you can see this is not quite as thick as the watermelon, but it is thicker in the center than on the arms and legs of the starfish. So this is gonna be a nice one color wise. It's gonna be really fun for your dog to play with, really fun against the pool. Most kitty pools tend to be blue, but even if you have other color kitty pools, this one will likely pop pretty well. The backside is just nice and blank. So you've got options for this, depending on how you want that to float if you're doing content creation or something like that. This one I'm also really excited about for Gemma. You know Gemma likes to carry things around in her mouth. She loves her bumper toy. And so this little popsicle is gonna be a nice fit for her. The end is very thin, so good for smaller dogs. And then this is just gonna be something she carries around. She likes to carry around her toy ducks and she likes to carry around her bumper toys and things like that. So this is the perfect size for Gemma. And how cute is that? And it's also, you know, red, white, and blue. So if we're coming up on some of the US holidays, we got it covered here, but this is just a nice little option. They also had a lobster. I did not get the lobster because it does have the claws and then the little legs. And I just thought that it was a lot of things that they could be grabbing on. But if you have a dog that chews on these things, or if you're not going to be paying attention to them while they're doing this, the little legs might not be the best choice. They might be the better choice for a smaller dog. I know Ember is not going to play with water toys. My, my Ember is a little cat. Um, she's a dog, but she's a cat. And there was no point in me getting that one. I didn't think that was gonna be the best fit for my dogs. Of the choices, I went with these three, but there are some really good options there. So you can run to your Aldi's and you can grab these this week if you want to. I would go again very, very quickly because these tend to sell out very fast. But they float on water, it's gonna be nice. You can, you can, I mean, just look at, look at the way that those colors pop with the pool. It looks really good, right? So that's going to be really good for your content creation, really fun for your dog. And it's going to be a nice contrast, especially if you have one of those blue pools for your dog to be able to see them while you are playing with them out in your kitty pool. Like I said, I have two videos on how to create a water park for your dog inside of your own yard and how to leverage kitty pools with even more things. It's not just floating toys, but there's lots of options that you can be using for this. These are just some really good ones that you can be using this summer. I might, if I'm going to try these out with my dog and if they like them, I'm going to go back and buy more because these are really nice. Like they're very well made, very sturdy, sturdy. Um, and just so freaking cute. I, I cannot get over this watermelon, but I love it. I might have to pick up another one, but you've got lots of options here. Follow along for more ideas on how you can help your dog stay cool and hydrated this summer while also still having fun and getting lots of enrichment and follow along for daily videos, helping you learn how to travel with your dogs, how to document your dogs through photos and videos and how to help level up for your pup to give them the best life possible. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.